good morning all of you let us continue our learning of the subject discrete mathematics meant for semester 3 students if you remember we had uh, started discussing logic proportional equivalence predicates and quantifiers let us have a quick walk through of the first uh, session pdf which we used and uh, don't forget we are referring the syllabus prescribed textbook of kenneth h rosen by name discrete mathematics and applications seventh edition here we had seen uh, the importance and significance of discrete mathematics the why then uh, we talked about propositions uh, being declarative sentences that is declare fact that is either true or false but not both then we had seen few truth tables uh, of and operations or operations here this is the implication symbol where we mentioned q implies p is converse and not q implies not p is contrapositive while not p implies not q is inverse we had seen the truth table for bidirectional implication then few proofs again truth tables for and or xor so bitwise or bitwise and bitwise xor operations we had seen then applications of propositional logic we had seen post that we discuss few more equivalences as well as proofs then we moved to we had moved to predicates and quantifier wherein we mentioned that this part is the predicate and x is actually the subject then quantifiers we mentioned two quantifiers rather three for all x there exist x and we also mentioned the uniqueness quantifiers by the symbol <coughs> then we moved on to translating english sentences into logical expressions like every student in this class has studied calculus was converted as for all x student x implies calculus x some students in this class has visited we can converted it as there exist x s of x and m of x every student in this class has visited either canada or mexico we had converted that as for all x s of x implies c of x or m of x let us continue our discussion of this propositional logic so as we had mentioned what is proposition proposition is an assertion and uh, that assertion may be a fact that fact may be true that fact may be false but that fact cannot be true and false at the same time say for example there is an assertion called as 4 is a prime number we know that it is a false assertion there is an assertion called as 3 plus 3 is equal to 6 we know that this is a true assertion what is an assertion assertion is a truth value that truth value may be a true value or may be a false value we can represent a true value as 1 and a false value as 0 suppose we have a uh, proposition or a fact like this x plus y greater than 4 this is not a proposition the propositional variables used are p q r and the logical connectives used are and or not this is the symbol for and this is the symbol for or and this is the symbol for not you can see here we have two propositional variables p and q their values are 00011011 the and operation is perform of these two and the resultant of the and operation will be true only if both the facts are true both p and q are true rest all are zero we have performed here or operation we know that for or 
our output to be true any one of the p or q should be true so that's why this one 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 but this is exclusive or in exclusive or one of them must be true one of them must be false that's why this true output is only for these two columns of p and q while discussing proposition logic we also refer something called as dnf which stands for disjunctive normal forms cnf which stands for conjunctive normal form we also have to refer predicate logic which sits on top of propositional logic which is not adequate and when we are speaking about predicate logic we are speaking about the symbols like material implication not or and for all there exist so let us continue our learning of translating an english sentence into logical expression say the sentence is marcus was a man see this uh, out of uh, once you start practicing this you will automatically be able to convert this uh, fastly say for example the sentence is marcus was a man in propositional logic it can be represented as man marcus marcus was a pampian it can be represented as pampian marcus marcus was born in 40 ad can be represented as born marcus comma 40 all men are mortal so here we are using the universal quantifier for all so here x is the subject for all x man x okay implies mortal x john likes all kinds of food that can be represented as for all x food x implies likes john comma x apples are food can be represented as food apple chicken is food can be represented as food chicken anything anyone eats and is not killed by is food so here the implication is food okay so there are two things happening here one is a person anyone and the other one is a thing anything so you are using two variables here x and y and that's why we are using two universal quantifiers also for all x for all y so here x is anyone y is that food so for all x for all y for X. x is a person and food y y is a food and eats x comma by y what it indicates x eats y means person eats food and is not killed x is not killed by y implies that food y it is food y then the next example is bill eats peanuts and is still alive so here peanuts x we are using one universal quantifier for all x so for all x peanut x and eats bill comma x so bill is eating x and x is peanut implies bill is alive at a time called as quantum called as t2 so here this gt is a greater than symbol so t2 is t1 is there are two time uh, aspects we are considering time t2 and time t1 so at at the instant time t2 bill is al alive that's what we want to indicate through this logic next uh, english sentence is sue eats everything bill eats this can be represented as for all x eats bill comma x implies eats sue comma x whoever can read is literate can be represented as for all x read x implies literate x dolphins are not literate this can be represented as for all x dolphin x implies not literate x some dolphins are intelligent here i am using the quantifier existential existential quantifier there exist x so there exist x dolphin x and intelligent x so thank you for this let us practice more